dances. They can do all of those wonderful, intricate moves, all to music. Good. These Pembroke Welsh corgis yeah, can really get bust it. a move. They're fabulous dogs. They're very intelligent. They want to please their owner. They've got amazing confidence. They've got a tremendous mind of their own. The Queen of England's favorite pooch. It's hard not to fall for this dancing dog. Intelligent, protective, devoted, and bounding with enthusiasm. These dogs are simply lovable. Though there's no traceable breed history, most folks say the Pembroke Welsh Corgi's ancestry dates back to 1107 A.D., when dogs were brought to Pembrokeshire, Wales, by Flemish weavers. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the oldest breed of herding dog and has three characteristics that make him great at doing his job. They were actually bred to herd cattle. And you can imagine how cool that would be because they're very short little dogs. They go around and they would nip at the cattle and sheep to um, herd them. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi's low body is often twice as long as his height, but don't let those little legs fool you. They're pretty tough little dogs. Get it. And they move remarkably fast and are very agile for a dog with such short legs. His double coat helped him herd in all weather conditions. The undercoat is short and thick, and the outer coat is coarser and longer. A serious flaw for the show ring are fluffies. A corgi with a coat of extreme length, with exaggerated feathering on the ears, chest, legs, and feet. The fluffies cannot be used for breeding or showing. If not born with a natural bob, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi's tail is often cut shorter or docked. Cattle farmers docked the tails to prevent injuries to the dogs. Two breeds share the name Welsh Corgi. There's the, the cardigan and there's the Pembroke. They look alike, but they're completely separate breeds with different ancestors. The most striking differences are the cardigan's long tail and rounded ears. The Pembroke's ears are pointed, and we know about the tail. The Pembroke is also the most popular of the two. Okay, let's go. A preferred pooch of the British royal family since 1933, the Corgi is now one of the best-known breeds in the world. Queen Elizabeth has 16 of these dogs. She's a huge fan of these dogs. Pembroke Welsh Corgis live 11 to 13 years and are a relatively healthy breed. Here. They're prone to back disorders, glaucoma, and can gain weight easily, so they shouldn't be overfed. Heavy seasonal shedding can be a drawback and should be a consideration when looking at this breed. A loving, protective, and playful companion, they make excellent family dogs, but may fare better with older children. Because they are a herding dog, uh, and they tend to nip, so be aware of that if you have very young, very small children. Go through. These Come dogs through. need exercise, or they're Get going it. to feel Get frustrated. Get it. Yay. So they might not be the best department dog. They might be better if you had a yard for them. This dog is highly intelligent and has great enthusiasm for learning. E. Training a corgi is easy Get it. because they're very smart. They really want to do what you're telling them to do. So remember, every dog is different, but in general, Pembroke Welsh Corgis can live anywhere as long as they get plenty of exercise. They're a fairly healthy breed. Heavy shedding can be a drawback. They're eager to learn, and they might try and herd or nip small children. Their willingness to please is just overwhelming, and I think that's why they just bring me so much joy and pride.